What's up, y'all? It's your friendly neighborhood commentator, Dread Silver. And as you can see, this is game two in the series against the Denver Nuggets. This team is like, like I'm always surprised by like how t well this team does. You know what I mean? Like Josh Childress is in the starting lineup. So is Deshaun Stevenson, who got released by the Mavs last year. Like, these are kind of like a lot of these kind of. I'm not gonna go at Denver like that, but there's a lot of these players that teams didn't really necessarily play that often, and they're in the playoffs right now. Like then they got traded and everything, but they still go ham on me. And um, thank you for all the people who subscribed to me for my Allen Iverson Creative Legend. I'm gonna come out with that some more. You see, children shoot that fade away in my face. That's some. That'd be killing right there. But I'll be putting on some, some Allen Iverson Creative Legend soon. So stay tuned for that. And my next game on game, my next game for the Nuggets will be on Game Face Studios. So please check out that. It'll probably be on there this Friday. So you see me trying to get in there with Jennings. They're playing some lockdown D on me. I can't even get an open shot with Crawford, and they just strips me. I can't even get to the post when I'm ever, when I'm using um Andrew Bogut. And this game's already starting pretty awful. I'm already at a it's already like zero to five starting out the game. And you see Deshaun Stevenson like going crazy right there. So I get my first bucket already. They're coming back on me. And check Josh Childress, man. This is what I be talking about. Two-handed dunk on two of my players, and I get the goal ten, so he gets the bucket right there. Josh Chill just be playing like he's an all-star caliber player, man. I don't know what his uh his uh dunking. Look at that that this dunking vertical rating is, but he's just grabbing alley oops on me, like setting picks and running alley oop plays like Blake Griffin out here. Turkaloo came and defend that, so I had to call a timeout right after this. Get Turkaloo out of the game. I gotta put Terrence Williams, man. I need somebody who can. Who has some hops who can guard Josh Childress, and it's crazy that I gotta like do something like that to make sure I can guard Josh Childress. I actually I put Josh Smith in as a small forward position to guard Josh Childress. That's crazy. So right here, Deshaun Stevenson just drains the three in my face. I don't know what it is, but he will take any type of three, open, not open, anywhere. He has a high tendency to shoot. So it's game time right now. I see the nail with the ball. I get the strip right here. So I got Hickson running with me, so I reward him with that alley-oop right there. I love when my bigs run. And I'll show the highlight right there because I'm about to go get one more. I see Josh Smith running again, and I throw him another alley-oop right there. I'm kind of happy that he runs with me that time because usually, lately, I think it's because I got his shooting up a bit. He'll just post it up at the three-point line, like whenever I'm running on the break. I'm like, come on, man. You're like 6'9", highest vertical in the game, power forward. And you see Josh Childress. I don't even know why I said highest verticals because apparently Josh Childress has the highest vertical in the game as he puts some nuts in my face with the complete and total like disrespect right there. I don't appreciate that. I really don't. So we're going to try to shut him down this game. That's the last dunk he's going to get on me. So I'm driving in with Josh Smith. Get a nice and one to go. I love that finger roll right there. And I don't know what it is playing this team. Like, everything you know about the Denver Nuggets, I think you know, is false. Kenneth Reed, all he can get rebounds in this game, but he has no offensive talent. He can't even get to the rim. And when he gets the ball, for some reason, he, like, backs out to the three-point line every time. It's weird. And you see um, Courtney Lee go around the screen for that easy shot right there. I get Bogan in the post. Every time I put Bogan in the post, I just lose the ball. Like, you see that, right? They, they just took uh, took the chair from under me on that one. And Corey Brewer just dunks on me like that. But I don't know what it is. Like, Nene is an all-star post-player, post-defense player, man. Like, I know Nene is good, but they be playing Nene like he knows everything about the game. Like, he has the highest IQ about the game ever. So, I can't give it to Bogut as much this game. So, I try to run some plays. I see Courtney Lee cutting, so I throw him the alley-oop right there. Nice lay in alley-oop. It was pretty beautiful. I'll take that. I get a hop step to go with Jamal Crawford contact. Not very good quality, but it's Jamal Crawford. He's the hero of this team, man. So Andre Miller just shoots a set shot in my face. A set shot. Set shot. All right. He's going to shoot sets on my face. So I, I try to do a hop step jump shot with Jamal Crawford. doesn't go. usually does. But I speed the game up real quick. Nothing's really happening right here. So I go on back down the court again with Brandon James. Try to throw up the alley-oop, but Terrence Williams misses the dunk. That might be the first time I've ever seen that happen. Terrence Williams missing the alley-oop dunk. Because he's usually, he's usually like the person who gets the most alley-oops on my team right there. So I was pretty surprised. And Andre Miller gets that layup in traffic around the whole team. 
So I, I think I'm, I'm trying to pass it to Jamal Crawford. He's open, so I take the three, and the unthinkable happens, man. My highest score on my team is injured in the playoffs. Look at the team all shocked. I'm glad we don't got that glitch where that dude be turning his head all weird. Looks real awkward. And look at Courtney Lee. He doesn't even care. He's just like, okay, more minutes for me. So Courtney Lee, I put him in the game. And after this game, I'm going to make him the starting um, shooting guard because I need some minutes. So you see Deshaun Stevenson take that turnaround three-pointer. That's what I'm talking about. Whenever he gets the ball, it's going up. So I always play a tight defense on him. And for the first time, I got like Mike Bibby in the game. So any Mike Bibby fans should be happy about that right there. I fear the Courtney Lee. I try to get the drive on him right here, but it's not really happening. So I pass it off to Jay Smooth. I meant to go for a layup right here. But I just take the fade away and I drain it. That's wet. So I'm loving Josh Smith right now. He's like the only one on the team really doing well. No one's really making threes because after Jamal Crawford left the game. So I'm trying to play some great defense on Josh Childress and it wasn't happening. So I get a little frustrated. Just swap that off the rim. You know, get the goaltending. But you got to get, you gotta have that intensity. You know what I mean? It's not even about that. And check that backcourt violation. Are you kidding me? I stopped on the, the line on accident so I could set a play, and I get an automatic backcourt right there, and I'm just angry about that. So we're on the break right here. I see Turkaloo. I'm like, is Turkaloo a good passer? I don't care. I'm going to throw up the alley-oop to T-Wills once again. Whenever Terrence Williams is cutting to the basket, it's going to be money when I throw him the alley-oop with a 23. I didn't even know that was his number. I'm trying to be like Jordan up there. So I set a nice screen for Brandon Jennings. Almost get the beautiful fadeaway to go, but I get the rebound right back. And Josh Smith, the only person who's been hitting threes this game, drains a three right there. So I'm happy about the lead. I got a good lead right here by 12. We're stopping Josh Childress. Everything is going right. I'm getting alley-oops out here, and I miss that alley-oop. I feed Josh Smith, and I haven't used him in the post that much, so I'm like, why not? You know, he's a post player. He gets a lot of, I think his rating in the post is so high. And check these crossovers right here. And he gets to the basket on two of my players with the contact on Bogey. I got to respect Ty Lawson for that one. But I don't use Josh Smith in the post as much as I should. I always use him as a cutting player. So I felt like feeding him right there. I'm driving in with Brandon James. I see Bogut cutting. So I give him that nice layup right there. Whenever my bigs cut, you got to reward that, man. So Ty Lawson getting trying to get to the basket once again. He shouldn't have taken that hesitation, but it doesn't matter. Even though I got both hands on the ball, he has the power to put that back in the rim. He just told Burn and Jennings, get in the weight room. So I'm trying to get back down once again. They're pressing me, so I'm just trying to get down the court as fast as I can. I take that defader right here. That's probably like the easiest shot I can do with Brandon Jennings. Like his normal jump shot's real odd and I can't really get to fall. So I usually just shoot fadeaways with him. So I feed Turkaloo wide open on three-point line, but he and he's wet right there. That's what I want. Finally, we're making buckets. I'm trying to close out this game. I didn't like how the last game went. It was real bad how they scored the winning bucket in our, on us. And you see Andre Miller get there right there, get that uh, nice bucket right there. So I'm just trying to make sure there's a huge gap before the end of the game because I'm not letting something like that happen again. Get a nice up and under with Josh Smith. Three, four minutes to go left in the game. And I take another jumper with Brandon Jennings, wet that in Childress's face, trying to let him know, like, y'all don't belong here. This is our game right now. So Ty Lawson gets to the basket. He's messing up, man. And that's when Ty Lawson, I think, starts to realize the game is over for his team. So he tries to get one more bucket to go, shoots that crazy fadeaway, makes it, but the game's pretty much over. We won this game. We got the series tied 1-1. One one. And I got, like I said, I got the other game. Um, game 3 on Game Face Studios this weekend coming up, so please check for that. As you can see, Josh Smith was the only person on my team who was really doing that well. My shooting wasn't that great with anybody, really, you know. Nobody was hitting threes, which was kind of disappointing. And Shumpert really wasn't stepping up this game. Neither was Turkaloo. Three points, and he played 19 minutes. It's pretty frustrating. But their team was shutting us down. I can't even be mad. And so I go to check the injury report in a second right here. And it doesn't look that bad. Jamal Crawford's only out for one to two weeks. I'm not even worried about it. But this is Dread Silver, and I'm out, y'all.